of my friend is that uh, Reverend Ko Wonju, he's the director of uh, Mandaksan Retreat Center uh, right now. He's very experienced uh, mount climber. So his hobby is uh, going to nearby mountain around uh, Iksan along with his uh, friend. Some years ago, uh, he went to the, some mountain, which is not that high around the Iksan, uh, where the Korean One Buddhism headquarters is located. Uh, he's very skillful and experienced. So he many times uh, tried to some trail, which is not popular, sometimes which is not open, only the local people know. So when he used that trail on that particular day, when he walked around like one hour, his backpack happened to hit the beehive under the branch, and he was just stung. Now, several times he's a very strong guy, it doesn't matter. But the problem is the minister who just followed the next to him. He was stung more than 40 times. So he was immediately brought to the ER. And I heard the story. He's my classmate. It's just like our life. Who knew there's a beehive there? So each and every person would like to live a ha happy, free life. But when we walk on our paths in our life, uh, many things, many unfortunate things happen unexpectedly. It has nothing to do with uh, our fault. In that tragedy, so, the problem is probably he did not use the destiny in the trail, which is a good sign. But he tried to some pioneer some new paths. When we live our life, when you drive some unfamiliar area, we can rely on map or navigator. But when we live our life, we don't have that perfect, the precise navigator or guide in our life. It may not be perfect, but do you know we have a very good navigator in our life? The scripture, the teachings of the old realized the teachers, Shakamre Buddha, Sotesan, Lao Tzu, Jesus, etc. The scriptures are the guide so that we can avoid some avoid the suffering and reach to attain nirvana or freedom of mind. So there is a Chinese saying, before a saint is born, the way is in the heavens. When the saint comes to the world, the way resides with the saint. When the saint passes away, the way is in the scripture. Particularly, scriptures are, for example, when you go to Applebee, so if you order steak, then they provide you already cooked steak. If you go there, they will give you raw steak, raw vegetable. We don't go there. Likewise, scriptures are just like already cooked meal. 
Song Jagpya is the father of our second Heda Dharma master. Our second Heda Dharma master tried to search for the way and performed a lot of ascetic practice from the age of six. Can you imagine six year old or the boy performed a lot of ascetic practice to realize the truth. So when our second head Dharma master at the age of 17 moved to the West, where the Sotesan started to spread his teaching, his father eventually came to the West. At the time, Song Jokbyeok was already probably in his uh, late 50s. He was uh, very eager to attain great enlightenment uh, as soon as possible. He practiced meditation a lot. But instead of uh, calm down his mind, uh, because of his uh, rushing mind, the energy, the fire energy has a uh, ascended and he suffered a very severe headache. My teacher told me his face, his head were literally swollen. But did you read the verse 40? Yeah. Oh. Over eager to have the watery energy ascend and the fire energy descend, devoted himself exclusively to seated meditation, but ended up with headaches instead. The founding master said, This is a result of not understanding well the road of practice. As a rule, a well rounded method of practice involves practicing during both action and rest. During action, it mainly involves exercising heedfulness and making choices through observation of all sensory conditions, which will then lead to the simultaneous attainment of three great powers. When at rest, it mainly involves cultivation and inquiry, which will then lead to the simultaneous attainment of three great powers. Practitioners who are aware of this path and practice accordingly will experience few difficulties in their practice and will be calm and composed, like the surface of the ocean without a trace of wind. The ascending of water energy and the descending of fiery energy will naturally occur as the mind is settled. But if you don't know this path, then you may easily condemn yourself to an entire life of hardship by suffering unnecessary illness. You must be extremely careful about this. Thank you. Our founding master very often told or asked this uh, to his uh, students, did you find the path, your path to practice? Gongbukgil. Gongbukgil means the path to practice. So think about uh, this uh, Songjok Byuk's case. He's uh, full of uh, energy, motivation, devotion, courage. But that's not enough. We have to know the path first. The scripture, the teaching of the Buddha tells us the shortcut. Wise people may know the path, but they, most of the people use uh, Detour, but Buddha, greatly realized teacher, exactly knows the exact path so that we can reach indestructible, perpetual state of freedom, of happiness. So Korean Buddhist master said in this way, 
an understanding that does not have a practice is empty. A practice that does not have understanding will be obstructed. So our study and the practice should go together in tandem. So just like when you drive some place, you have to know the direction first, and then we need to drive to reach there. Probably 12 years ago, Dalai Lama went to New York City and he gave a Dharma talk at the Central Park. And uh, I was very curious about that famous person. So from the one institute in Philadelphia, we drove like uh, three or four hours, uh, and I was waited outside the Central Park like uh, three hours. The waiting line was uh, so long. Think about it. Shakyamuni Buddha give a talk, will give a talk at the Central Park. Probably lots of people in Asia will fly to JFK. It may be very hard to make an airplane, book an airplane. We do not have to go to Central Park or make a reservation to airplane. When you read the scripture, it's exactly like listening to his talk. Why, after washing your face, you look yourself in the mirror? Or when you come to the one Dharma center, many of you look at yourself in the mirror. Why? We can look around and uh, whether this is a property, I wear some clothes of property. But when we look at ourselves in the mirror, we can exactly know, for example, after washing our face, uh, this part is uh, still clean or dirty, etc. Likewise, what's wrong? with our mind, what's wrong with our life, etc. When we read a scripture, which is like a mirror, we exactly know what's wrong, what area I need to improve or correct, etc. Our founding master said, human beings, regular people are Ma umpyong hwanja. Hwanja means patience. Ma umpyong means patience whose mind and heart is ill. Why he said that? For example, I can freely raise my right hand or left hand, tilt my head to the right or left. Because it's my body, I can freely use my body according to my will. But think about the anger problem or jealousy or comparing mind or depression or anxiety. For example, Peter, you are taking tomorrow hard exam, you have studied for years, but if you decide your mind tonight, well, I will not worry about that. I will not anxious. If you make your mind in that way, I don't think it helps a lot to make the worries or anxieties disappear. From now on, I would like to let go of that bad memory or trauma. Does your mind work in that way? I would like to forgive that person. Just like the words of Jesus, 
Your mind is willing, but your body is weak. In other words, even though this is our mind, this is my mind, we cannot use our mind freely. That's why our founding master said, uh, we are all the patients whose uh, mind and heart is ill. But if we take the Buddha Dharma and put that to action, that is the path to cure. So Shakyamuni Buddha, from time, he called himself many times the king of medicine. From time to time, he called himself Visakko. This Pali means a great physician. Or he sometimes called himself Anutaru, great supreme surgeon, to cure our mind and heart, to cure our body. But we have to take the medicine first. Having a great pre prescription does not cure our sickness. We have to actualize that. So one of the six mindfulness in our daily life, uh, let me read that. Be mindful to study and practice a scripture when you have time. Yonsubhada means uh, study and practice. We, use, we usually say study scripture, study scripture, but yonsub literally means study and practice. Explaining Chinese character is uh, interesting. <laughs> yonsub. Yon means uh, training. Discipline. Sub means uh, exercise. Repeat. Yun, training means, do you know what this part means? Gum, iron. This part means uh, being melt, melting, being smelt, for example, in the furnace. Iron being melted in the furniture to produce the best quality iron. That's the training of our mind. That's yan, training. So, repeat, exercise. This upper part, how does it look like? Does it look like a feather or wing? Wing or feather. This part means uh, <coughs> back means uh, white. White wing, white feather. What does that mean? When the bird is uh, very young, it says, uh, "I'm not sure. Is it true or not?" It says their wings are very white, it's not dark. So repeat exercise. In order for a baby bird to fly freely, it have to repeatedly move, exercise its wing to fly freely. That's what sub means. <coughs> so our founding master did not say, be mindful to study scripture. He said, be mindful to study yonsub. Study and practice scripture. Some of the, our founding master's uh, disciples were very learned, very learned scholar. Our founding master even did not graduate from elementary school. After he finished uh, the writing of the One Buddhism Canon, one very learned uh, 
student said, uh, he said several times, uh, and uh, it takes uh, less than um, two hours. So, message just so easy, so easy. So he's not motivated to read more. But our founding master said, can you put that into practice? Can you actualize that teaching into your life? That is the point. I have uh, read the scripture for a long time. I've uh, come to one Dharma center or some, I've joined the retreat uh, for years. But my life uh, does not seem to be changed that much. Or things remain the same. Or I don't feel more joyful, etc. Probably you need to spend a lot of time knowing, reading scripture. But your next job is uh, put that into practice. That's why all the realized the teacher says, uh, instead of reading a lot of uh, Dharma books written by famous uh, Dharma teachers, it's just uh, it's a very tasty food. They may not be very healthy food. Focused on several scriptures, the words of uh, teachers who attained supreme enlightenment. Confucius read Il Ching. You have heard that the word Il Ching, the book of change, probably one of the most well-known Chinese philosophy book, Il Ching. He read Il Ching, just focusing on Il Ching so many times. So the leather by the leather strap, that bind in all the days uh, the letters were written on a specially processed uh, bamboo silk. So leather strap was worn and cut, broken three times. That's called Vipyan uh, Samjar. Samjar means uh, cut. It was broken three times. We mean the leather strap. Pyeon, binding again. So that in that devoted way, Confucius studied Il Ching, just Il Ching. So some people said, I don't have a teacher that I can be guided or I can surrender myself, etc. Our third head Dharma master, Master Tessan said, the first teacher is always the scripture. Our founding master said his teaching, his Dharma is a sanyak. Sanyak means a wonder drug, miracle medicine. As, soon, as long as you take this wonder drug, then you will be cured. Yeah. We chanted the uh, Heart Sutra. Would you open? I'm not sure which page is that. Heart Sutra. Page five. That English translation of a Heart Sutra was based on the Chinese version, which Monk Hyunjang translated from the original Sanskrit. There are more than 100 Chinese versions, more 100 English versions. Monk Hyunjang was, uh, he was pretty well known for his uh, brightness. He was a brilliant uh, Buddhist monk uh, from his uh, early 20s. And when he read a lot of uh, Buddhist uh, scripture, that's uh, translated in the Chinese, uh, basically by Kumara Ziva, the Indian master. 
Many things are not clear. So he was curious about what Shakyamuni Buddha originally taught, which may be contained in the Pali and the Sanskrit, the scripture in India. So at the age of 29, he decided to make a pilgrimage to India, to Naranda University, located at the southern part of the Nepal. Do you know how many years for Hyunjang to arrive at the Naranda University? He had to literally walk through the Gobi Desert, northern part of the Himalayas, and passing through Afghanistan, Pakistan, and the, he had to climb over Himalayas. Even these days with a great hiking boot or like a duck down, expensive, uh, clothing, mountain climbing, clothing is hard to hike in the Himalayas. But he literally walked for six years to arrive there. He didn't start from the Shanghai. He started from Chang'an, the capital of Tang Dynasty, which is located in the inland. It took six years. And he studied there. He was so brilliant, he became the pre. He was the, I heard that after five years, he became the president of the Naranda University in the seminary. And then, with a lot of uh, Pali and uh, Sanskrit uh, scrolls, uh, of, uh, he went back to China. Do you know how many years it took? Seven years. He already may know the past why. He becomes a little older. <laughs> so, in total, it took 20 years to bring the Heart Sutra, Diamond Sutra. When you download English translation of the Heart Sutra, it takes less than two minutes. So our founding master said, uh, this kind of a bright time period is very hard to meet, encounter. You are very lucky persons, he said uh, to his fellows. This is the passage I like. Although time continually revolves, circling many millions of times, opportunity such as this are rare. We are all very lucky to be in this uh, good period with the Buddha Dharma. So just like uh, Meditation purifies our mind. Studying Buddha Dharma gives a nutrition, nourishes our mind and heart. So I sincerely encourage you, along with the meditation, read the scripture on a regular basis. You can join Reverend Ginger's the Thursday night with the Dharma study class or just to read the one or two pages uh, on a regular basis. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Mm -hmm.